When you're younger, no one tells you the best way to deal with your shit. At least in my case. There have been a few moments in my life where I felt so overwhelmed that I kind of lost track of who I was in trying to get through what I needed to get through. For the most part, things turned out all right. I'm at a point in my life right now where I have no idea who I am and I am just starting to figure out how it is I got to this point. I don't like it. I don't like the person I've become in the past few months. Like trying to get back to the point of the person that I like and recognize has come with a lot of ugly self-recognition. And it was even hard to get to this point because no one tells you about the incredibly unique sense of loss that comes with taking somebody out of your life. Like, when friendships or relationships end, it leaves behind this jagged, imperfect chasm in your life that demands to be filled. And I thought I knew how to cope with it. But this feels entirely foreign to me. I should have never indulged myself with him the way that I did. I was not in a good place. He was not in a good place, and we both saw that in each other. And yet, I let it go as far as it went. But there was just something about him. From the first moment I remember seeing him, I still don't know the best way to describe it. The three of us were piled in the Isaac's car going God knows where, and I remember laughing so hard about a video I had just watched that I couldn't even describe why I found it so funny. I was looking up at my phone, and I remember seeing William looking at me. He was grinning, and in that split second, it felt like he had never been a stranger to me. There was a comforting, surprising sense of familiarity between the two of us in that instant. From then on, things began moving at their own incredibly intense pace. You know Henry David Thoreau was a huge bitch, right? Don't let anyone on campus hear you say that. What's the worst that's going to happen? Well, you'll ruin the entire going off the grid literary canon for all the woodland stoners in our class. Good, they need some humbling anyways. Besides, 8 P psychedelic band guy is getting too cocky. How so? He thinks because I fucked him the one time that somehow means he's got me wrapped around his finger. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe Bernie's reputation of his favorite recluse will somehow give this kid the, the hint that I was bored and he was readily available. No functioning adult should idolize a grown man who refused to move more than a mile away from his mother just so she could continue to cook and do his laundry. How do you know Henry David was that much of an influential figure in this guy's life? That's the only personal information I retain outside of him being the frontman of an AP psychedelic band. Yikes! <laughs> that kind of uh, sounds like the girl who asked me on a date in the park, even though she had a crippling bird phobia. Oh, dude, bird girl was my favorite <laughs> of your dating app exploits. Yeah, she turned out to be a really great story after the fact. So are you still doing the dating app thing, despite finding a viable pool of suitors in my friend group? Two guys in the span of a year is a coincidence at most. I'm not trying to get with every person in your life. Oh, so what are you doing with William? Nothing at the moment. <laughs> Look, I've heard enough graphic sexual descriptions of you, and while I know William wouldn't do that, I still don't want to hear my best friend and my roommate having sex in the next room. I'm a cool guy, but I'm not that cool. Oh, honey, you are cool, don't worry. Oh, whatever. <laughs> You won't hear any of that anytime soon. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh, honey. No, but Harry David Thoreau, I don't know. I think he was a sub. What are you doing here? I'm whisking you away. I really don't want to go on another bar crawl right now. Even if I could afford to do that for us tonight, that's not what I was talking about. What are you talking about? Get in the car and I'll show you. Why can't you tell me now and I can decide if I want to do it or not? Live a little, Will. You're going to love this. This isn't inspiring much confidence. Just pretend like you trust me and get in the car. If we get there and you hate it, then I'll bring you back home and promise to never surprise you again. Pretty good at this, so just get ready. All right, so it's gonna be very simple. 
So you're gonna use your lead foot. So, and it's gonna help you with your center of balance. Yeah, this seems simple enough. Yeah, it's a fairly simple concept. Okay, so, this sounds gonna go. You're gonna put your lead foot right here. Have you ever been surfing? No, literally nothing about me screams surfer, bro. Hey, be nice to me. I'm teaching you something. Yes, ma'am. So, when you're surfing and you pop up on the board, you wanna put your lead foot and your back foot aligned on the board center of balance, Oh, else you're gonna wipe out. It's the same deal here. So, as long as you don't hurt yourself, you'll be fine. So, when you push off, you're gonna put your lead foot to the side and press that back foot to the back trucks. And, yeah, like as I said before, as long as you don't hurt yourself, you'll be fine. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, okay. It's okay, it's fine. Remember I told you about front foot? Yes. Okay, you're a unit. Good. Oh. That. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to use your back foot to like... Vroom, vroom, vroom! Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. Oh, uh, please. Can... Don't. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. push up like that? Yeah, just push up. Like that. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this isn't my first time. Yeah, you didn't think that was worth mentioning? Oh, come on, you were having so much fun, it didn't feel right taking that from you. You realize we could have skated together. I only packed one board. I'll bring two next time. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the lesson, what was the whole whisking me away thing about? Well, you seemed off today. I didn't want to push it, but I did want to help. I mean, I know we're already hooking up, and we're, since we're both friends with Isaac, and we'll probably still be seeing each other if we decide to stop. But I guess I just wanted to show you that I want to be your friend, too. I'm here for you. Even in a totally non-sexual, totally platonic sense. I, I care about you, man. You've grown on me. Grown on me. I'm gonna have... I can't stop thinking about how different the outcome would have been if I had just told him I didn't want things to change between us. Or if I hadn't said anything when he told me he loved me. Uh, well, right, well, oh, I need to sit down. Uh, okay, we'll sit here for a second. Okay. Yeah, you can just sit me right here. Oh, oh, I don't know what happened. It's fine. It doesn't matter now. I'm so sorry, Will. I only had one drink, and I already Hey, stop. Please don't apologize. You did the right thing tonight. You got me as soon as you felt something wrong, and we got you out of there. I ruined your night, and the only thing I'm going to do right now is sleep, but I could barely even move. And I refuse to be one of those people who can't even make it to their bed hey, all night. Hey, hey. You need to stay awake, all right? You don't know what you could have been slipped. You need to drink water, calm down, and breathe. What if it was nothing? My brain is just busted. I had that concussion a few weeks ago, and I know I shouldn't have been drinking, but I, I just had that one drink, so maybe a short circuit in my brain, and I was just gonna be fucked up. You are the smartest person I know. Your beautiful brain is not busted. You talked about the influence of imperialism on America's criminal justice system for half an hour at my Halloween party last week and somehow made it super compelling the whole time. You are annoyingly intelligent and kind 
and generous and those are just some of the reasons why I love you. I'm never gonna let anything like this happen to you ever again. I, I, I love you too. You might not in a minute because I'm gonna have to find a way to get you to vomit. Mm. All right, let's get inside. Mm. So what now? What? You told me you loved me. I did. So, what do you want from me now? Well, I guess I can be your boyfriend. Honestly, things were pretty good between the two of us after that. I didn't love him like I said I did, but things were still really good. It was almost like the better things were between the two of us, the better that dynamic was with the three of us as a group. Oh, look! I got you a self-help book. Oh, why, thank you, Kaiser. I can feel my value doubling already. <laughs> Come on, nerds. I'm gonna go kick your asses at Mortal Kombat. <laughs> he kind of looks like an evil Superman standing that way. <laughs> Bizarro <laughs> Superman. I really don't know what happened that made everything snap. I know Isaac had a huge fallout with one of his best friends and he wasn't handling it very well for a long time so I understand what made him change his behavior but I still have no idea what happened with William that made him do a complete 180. One day things changed with them both and I tried however I could to help put off the fires as they came up but it just felt like I kept trying to force this group to stay together just because I didn't want things to change. And it blew up in my face. It got to the point where if I wasn't right with one of them, I wasn't right with the both of them. Hey, how you feeling, buddy? I'm doing great. I'm talking to the bartender here about my best friend, Eloise. Oh, that's what it's like. Like I was saying, she's incredibly insecure. It's honestly really annoying the way that she just dotes all over us. She'll just do whatever we want her to, and we don't even have to ask most of the time. What? She should really find some better people than us to help define her, because Lord knows she can't do it by herself. Has he been saying this stuff about me all night? Oh, what the hell, Eloise? You scared my friend away. Did you hear he's been saying about me all night? <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, you didn't hear that. You knew he's been talking shit about me all night and you did nothing. He's just drunk and lashing out because he and his friend fell out. But we're his friends and we just need to stick by him a little and get this out of his system. Are you fucking kidding me? No. I've been here for him throughout all of this. Tonight was supposed to be about you guys wanting to take me out because you both wanted to help me celebrate the life of my friend who died two days ago. And you just want me to sit here and take this behavior just because he's still lashing out over something that happened over a month ago? I think it might be best if you went home. I'll watch out for him tonight. You can even sleep in my bed and I'll meet you there. Oh, don't bother me. You know this isn't okay. We weren't together much longer after that. The breakup itself wasn't even that bad, if I'm being honest. The shitty, awful, painfully hilarious irony is that I started reciprocating feelings for him just around the time he started losing his. So, the whole time we're barreling towards this very anticlimactic, much needed breakup, I was close to feeling real, genuine, romantic love. What sucked the most was that I saw him nearly every day. 
he said he didn't want to lose me as a friend and even though we just couldn't work right now <laughs> and so he and Isaac kept inviting me out and kept me around when I should have just said no if I had said no then maybe I could have avoided saved myself from everything else But I didn't. I didn't want to make things awkward for Isaac. And I didn't want to stop seeing William. And it's not like I didn't try. I still hung out with Isaac alone and I never instigated any conversations <laughs> with William. It's just that I couldn't stop myself from saying yes whenever William wanted to hang out. And then William and I had sex for the first time since breaking up less than a week after it happened. I walked home that morning feeling incredibly guilty. The sex was impeccable, don't get me wrong. But the only thing I could think about was how much I missed the way things were between the two of us so much that it made my chest ache with a sense of grief that I didn't know how to process. I missed my friend. The one who would wrap himself around me while I was doing homework in his bed. Or tell me that I've been the smartest person he's ever met right before telling me that he loved me for the first time. He stopped being that person a long time ago and walking home that morning made me realize that. We hooked up a few times after that, but I didn't feel guilty about it anymore after. I don't know why, but seeing him that way helped me get over these residual feelings I had left for him. Well, I stopped letting William and Isaac walk all over me and started standing up for myself. And we went back to being real genuine friends who genuinely enjoyed each other's company again. I still was initiating any contact with William and yet he would still ask to hang out with me nearly every day. They both even started respecting me after I stopped taking their shit. I still don't know how to take that actually. Regardless, I started feeling a bit more like myself again. There was a moment where I thought I was getting back to normal and could still have these two guys in my life again. Sadly, I embraced that idea wholeheartedly way too early. So the day went well, what happened after? Easily some of the best sex I've had during a first time with someone. She's better than most of my exes. <laughs> That's incredible. I'm so happy for you, Veronica. Have you seen her again since then? Yeah, I have. She wants to hang out again tomorrow night, so I need to spend the day cleaning the apartment before she comes over. You're spending the night already? At your house? That's not a huge milestone, though, objectively. I don't know how you can do it. Even if I like a person, I normally don't spend the night after sex. It's a really intimate thing. You don't spend the night? The last time I spent the night after a guy asked me to, I ended up getting in the most dramatic relationship of my life. And I have dated several actors and musicians, so that's saying something. Yeah, what's going on with that? Yeah, is William still asking you to hang out all the time? We haven't gotten a screenshot in the group chat in like a week. Yeah, William's been texting me all afternoon about this party he and Isaac invited me to last night. Did you go? I was going to, and then Isaac never answered when I asked what time I should head over there. He's actually bullying me now. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. What happened? They hooked up at the party. Who? Uh, William and Isaac hooked up at the party, and now William is telling me about it. Oh my god, why is he telling you this? I don't know, I guess he just found out what happened. Jesus, these texts are graphic. This is the juiciest thing I've ever read. I'm trying so hard right now not to freak out about this. Why? If it were my ex and best friend, I would be absolutely livid. I don't know. I'm not involved. He didn't have to tell me this, so I don't have the right to be mad, right? You are allowed to react however you react. Your feelings aren't at all invalid just because you weren't there when it happened. This might be the sign you finally needed to get these people out of your life. You're an incredible person, and it's been hard watching these guys step all over you for months. 
yeah, they hooked up, that's whatever, but you're allowed to be upset about this. And we're going to be here with you every step of the way. We love you and we just want you to be happy again, okay? <sighs> you wanna go get some chicken tenders to make you feel better? Yes, can we please go get some chicken tenders? I tried so hard to be okay with it, but I just couldn't. Isaac was over at my house that morning telling me about the party and even went out of his way to tell me about William having sex with some other girl and didn't say anything about him having sex with my ex-boyfriend. It made me feel like he didn't give a shit about me. You know, I even tried talking to him about it after William told me. I told Isaac that I loved him and I didn't want to bottle this up and resent him for it later. So I wanted us to talk about it and he completely dismissed me. He made me feel like I wasn't important. And after everything I've done for him, doing everything I could to be there for him for months and to be the best friend I could be to him, after all the bullshit I took from the both of them, I was done. A sick relative ended up bringing me back to my hometown a few days later, and I ended up staying home for around a month. I stopped answering their calls and texts and pretty much cut off all contact while I was at home, and it was honestly really nice. I don't know why that forced me to separate myself from the situation and actually start dealing with my own shit, but it did. I still have a ton of work to do, don't get me wrong. But after being home for a while and being away from that situation, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting back to normal. Anyways, I've been home back in the city for a few days now. Can we talk, please? So are you dating anyone yet? Oh God, I'm not far enough in this bottle for you to ask me that yet. You can still answer the question. No, I don't really do relationships that often and I'm not looking to start one right now. I'm just trying to focus on my work. Oh, well, that's good. I started talking to this new girl a few weeks ago, so that's good too. Resilient, so. I didn't ask that. Was that my one to talk to me? No, I wanted to apologize. Ooh, you're a few months late on that one, bud. I'm serious. I treated, I, I love you and took advantage of you and treated you like shit for a long time. And I'm sorry. And I'm not saying I love you like I'm in love with you. I just don't. I feel like this is the good time for me to tell you that I was never actually in love with you. All the times you told me, it kind of freaked me out and I said it as some sort of reaction. I love you as a person. And I know that's gonna take a long time for that to get out of my system. But you should know that you really freaked me out when you told me it for the first time. Look, I know you probably think of me as the villain in your story, but I care about you. I'm sorry. You managed to piss me off more than anyone I've ever met. But I wouldn't consider you a villain. Really? Not even close. Yeah. I've got bigger fish to fry than you, but... Isaac reached out to me a few days after that. But we talked some. He and William even wanted to throw me a birthday party as a way to bend fences, I guess. And when it would be just the two of us together, it felt like everything was better between us. But then the night before we were supposed to have my party, Isaac showed up on my doorstep drunk and beat up. All right, that's what I can do with this. Now tell me what happened. We, we were having a drink with one of his friends. He misheard a conversation that we were having and started yelling at me. All right, I got that part. Who threw the first punch? I don't know. Why would he do that? This isn't okay. You know, I knew he was messed up when hey, we moved in together. stop. You're drunk and probably in shock. Now is not the best time to try and figure out his behavior. 
Do you remember how the fight started? Not right now. I pretty much just remember him yelling at me and then us hitting each other. And then he stopped when he saw that I was bleeding. And I came straight here after that. All right. It's okay. Why would William do this? I don't know. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have to do... Oh my God, you're partying. Hey, stop that. It's not about me. I'll take care of everything for tomorrow. So don't worry about anything. I'm gonna take you to your mom's house because you really need to get some sleep. The three of us haven't been together as a group in months. I think the two of them reconciled in that time. And I know it's gonna take a long time before they can be as close as they used to be. But I told them I couldn't be there for it when they told me they were trying to rebuild that friendship. In a way, I feel kind of guilty. I threw myself at the both of them, William especially, because they were the perfect distraction at the time. I thought that if I could help them and be around them, then I wouldn't need to start doing the work I needed to do that I've recently started doing to get myself to the better place I'm at now. And I'm not gonna lie and say that I don't miss them. They became a huge part of my life for a long time after all. But I'm not going to keep dwelling on it. I'm happier now. And I shouldn't feel bad about that. How's the party going? It started winding down a couple of hours ago. I think people are starting to leave. Do you want to come over? I want to see you. <laughs> you pretty much forced me to take over planning my birthday party that you and Isaac were originally going to throw me. The day of, and then you didn't show up. Now you want me to come see you? I'm sorry. I'll tell you everything you want to know if you come. I just really need someone to talk to. I don't want to discredit the progress I've made since distancing myself from the two of them. Even though I did use these two guys as a distraction, which I recognize wasn't cool, I still did what I needed to do for myself to get better, to be better. I was talking to my mom last night, and she asked me if I had heard from either of them since I had gotten back in town. I told her no, and that I wasn't planning on reaching out to either of them. I don't know if she knew if I was lying to her, or if she could tell something was wrong in the way I had said it, but she asked me if I could still be as happy and content with myself if I had William and Isaac in my life again. I told her probably not, which I know is what she wanted to hear, but... Honestly, I don't know. I miss them, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I guess that's enough of that. Oh, we gotta love somebody to love somebody tonight. Oh. Yeah.